My name is Alana Ray Garcia. I am a student at Southwest University of Visual Arts my senior year. And for my thesis, I am doing a comic book. And I guess I'll just jump into my presentation. The hardest part about death is not losing someone. It's the letting go. That's the hardest part, the impossible part. Oh, I apologize. Oh, it's up all the way. The hardest part of losing someone is not death. By that time, they welcome it. They're ready to see the afterlife. It's us, the ones that are left behind, that's the hardest part, the impossible part. My mom told me this painful truth when I witnessed my grandfather lose his battle to cancer. And when I was five years old, I was diagnosed with a rare disease that would ultimately one day take my life. So death has always been in the back of my mind, and it has always been something that has terrified me. And after a series of tragedies in my life, <clears throat> including the loss of my grandfather and my two run-ins with breast cancer, I decided to take a stand as an artist and create something that could have helped me through my young adult life and the issues I was having. So I came up with the graphic novel, The Sticks. The Sticks is about an eight-year-old boy who is, lost his battle to cancer and is transported to the mythological river Styx, where he must tr cross the treacherous terrain with the ferryman while he prepares to fight the evil that awaits him at the door to the afterlife. I got the idea for The Sticks when I was reading a Facebook post about my cousin who was trying to explain life and death to her eight-year-old son who is battling stage four spine cancer as we speak. And it made me realize that I wanted to create something tangible that could help her easily explain death and mortality to her son or to any child or young adult. I finished the Sticks graphic novel about halfway through the semester and I was not happy with it. As being my, con my concept was allowing people or showing people and showing people how to appreciate and understand death. And it wasn't obvious and it wasn't accurate to what I was doing. So I decided about halfway through the semester to go back and color it. And after I colored it, it still wasn't where I wanted it to be. It wasn't at the level of, at the level I thought it should be at. So I decided to go back and do it again. And this is my final and what the comic looks like. All of my work is done traditionally. I love the intimacy of drawing comics with pen, pencil and paper and pen. So I do all of my um, pencils and inks traditionally, and then I bring them into the computer, and uh, in this instance, I vectorize them and letter them. Characters are something that the comic needed the most of. Without the characters, my concept would get lost and it would be unrelatable. So I decided to use a child and a spirit of death as sort of a buddy comic, or a buddy story. Wit Mortimer is the main character. He is, <clears throat> he is supposed to represent the, the innocence of human nature and what it represents as well as being how we see life and death and how as being naive and stubborn we can all change and grow and learn new things. And Charon is representative of being a young mother who has to explain mortality to her son while also dealing with the death of her son. And how she sees life and how she's willing to grow and change and go through the things that parents don't usually think about going through. That being said, symbolism played a massive role in the sticks, most specifically the cover. I wanted to show all of the sticks and none of the sticks at the same time. And how do I do that? How do I come across that way? Well, I tried hundreds of different, si different ideas. I tried Jack Kirby style Spider-Man fights. I tried still Walking Dead-esque poses. I tried more abstract ideas and I couldn't come up with the right one. And I was going home one day and I thought about if I could have taken my mother with me when I was having all my issues, what would that have looked like? And I remember going through my sur first major surgery and my parents stopped at the door when I went through and I w had to go through by myself. And being a 10 year old, that is the most terrifying thing that you can possibly imagine. I thought that, that I was gonna die. I thought that was gonna be the last time I ever saw my family. So I reached over and I grabbed onto my stuffed duck that my mom had gotten me before I was born. A duck that still sits on my nightstand. 
And I realized that that showed my mother's love for me. That showed a parent's love for their child is the first gift that you give them. So I decided to make a stuffed Caron, who represents Witt's mother, as protecting him from this unseen force that looms over him, this cancer, and that won't allow him to enter the door behind him. She's steadfast in what she believes, and she will not give up on her child. The Styx is so much more than a hero, a villain, and a fight. It's so much more than tight spandex, leather boots, and a cape. It's about love, loss, grieving, and hope, and that things don't end at your last breath. The Styx is for the outsiders, the ones left behind, and the experiencers. The Styx is for your sons and daughters, nieces and nephews, brothers and sisters. The Styx is for you. My goal for the Styx is to place this in the hands of children and young adults who are going through sickness and death or have experienced it. I use, death is used as an analog, analogy through a quest, something that isn't so in your face like the fault in our stars, something that creates a positive experience. Thank you for your time and consideration and helping me make a difference.